Hello, Hello mga curious moms and teens, teenagers. teenagers. I'm Mama Meme and <laughs> I'm Kuya Boo. <laughs> Kuya Boo. <laughs> I'm Elijah. And we are the Curious, curious Two. Bump it, bump it. May ganun pa. Okay, today what are we going to talk about, Elijah? Alright, so for today's episode, we are going to be talking about social media. But before we get into that, before we get into that, Uh, please, you know the drill. Subscribe if you want to see more from us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to, you know, show everybody our channel, I mean our podcast, share it. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, special shout out to Spoiled, Spoiled Brats. Brats for our venue and everything else in between. <laughs> Legit podcaster, you know? Yeah, and so. as you can see... Tingnan mo naman. Get this new setup. Ay, feeling ko talaga. No, pa, pa, ano eh, pa, umangat eh. Yeah. From the first episode eh, di ba? <laughs> Kasi yung first episode, labas. Ngayon. <laughs> Ngayon loob. <laughs> At the end of the day, gabi na. Okay. So, wait. Oh my God. We, you can also, ano guys, follow Spoiled Brats on their in, Instagram and Facebook. At Spoiled Brats and at Cajon, Cajon Music. Music. Woo! <laughs> Tai Tai Productions lang to. <laughs> okay. So, Anyways. guys, alam natin no, now, social media plays an important role sa buhay nating lahat. Hindi lang sa teenagers, pati sa ating mga adults. Everybody, and I mean legit everybody uses it, like especially now that we have access to you know, a lot of devices as phones, uh, iPads, even TVs have social media on there. Yeah. So legit everything And everywhere, you'll find it legit everywhere. Like, it doesn't matter what you have, you can have social media on it. Yeah. Kapag social media. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, ano ba yung mga ano, social media platforms natin, Elijah? I mean, Ito nakakaalam niya. So yeah, there's YouTube, you know, the one that's like, everybody knows. TikTok, the one that everyone has on their phone, between kids. Instagram, Twitch, Facebook. Ano ba yung Twitch? Twitch is a streaming platform. Oh, okay. It's also... So para siyang... YouTube, but gaming, gaming. Actually, okay. Twitch is, is like it's owned by Amazon, talaga. Eh? Amazon Prime. That's also another one. I mean, if you think about it, Netflix is also one. No, 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 that's not. Netflix well, is a streaming. No, it's also. It's a streaming platform. That isn't streaming, like. But but di ba nagkaroon din ng ano yung parang Netflix party? Yeah. <laughs> nung well, nung pandemic nagkaroon nun eh. That's ma- a whole separate thing. That's ah, a different thing. That's but a... that's still social media. Okay, no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn lang ang kailangan mo don. Yeah. And of course. The Uber fa- famous Facebook. Yeah. And then there's the new one, the Threads, powered oh. by Instagram and, and X. And YouTube Shorts. And X, yeah. X. Twitter became X. Oh, What? oh. Hindi na siya, no. X na siya. Masking, Bitter na siya. Just, just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. And of course, yung mga social media platforms, mga magulang dyan, uh, marami ang mga merong set, may... Set of ano set a minimum minimum age of 13 to sign up. Dati 18 eh, 'di ba? Dati adults lang eh. Pero hindi ko alam bakit na set to 18. I no, think of course because, mas malaki yung I think it's because when you know, parang sa start ni new generation, they were like, "Oh, I guess they're mature enough to handle it." But let's be honest, they I don't think they're mature, not mature to but handle. Like, I think they're like I think oh, I think, I think we should lower the age for para mas maraming users. Yeah, exactly. Yun lang yeah, yun. And that's also another fact. Yeah. I don't think may pakailam sila. No, well, that's true. Anyway, <laughs> w- pati mga ano, mga, mga kids. ba diba? Pati ng mga toddlers, nakikita natin na gumagamit na ng... Yeah, ano, like, like, I see... Oh, like, seven, oh. seven year old seven year old kids, like, using TikTok. TikTok. And then doing that. And bothered ako my... about it. Yeah, me too, honestly. <laughs> Talaga? Lalo na... No, I'm bothered because I'm, I'm always on TikTok and I know some of the stuff there. I'm like, kids shouldn't know that. I don't know about the stuff there. No, What's like, the like, stuff there? <laughs> like, memes, you know, mga slang, parang ganun. Like, what if they don't understand it, diba? Of course, they don't understand it. I mean, even you, you're still a minor. Yeah, there are some things I don't understand on TikTok. But like, even then, of course, I'm a teenager. So, there's there are stuff that I know from my generation. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Get that That's why we're doing this, eh, no? Yeah. <laughs> Yun. So, at, at, at itong lahat ng mga social media platforms, you know, these get to uh, influence everybody. Hindi, hindi lang bata, pati mga matatanda na mayroong mga reported rates of mga depression, anxiety, 
Kasi nga, because of the content. Ano ba yung mga content na medyo hindi okay? Yung mga violent ones, mga... Ano ba yung mga content? Violent, mga... There's like a lot of violent and a lot of unfiltered stuff like on TikTok. Yon, yun yung term, and not unfiltered. Just TikTok, like on <laughs> media itself. Like, ako, when I was young, uh, on YouTube, uh, younger, younger, when on, on YouTube... <laughs> Younger. I saw my mom's face like, wait, I am young. Anyway, <laughs> younger. Um, dati nakikita ko yung mga videos na nagmumaray yung mga tao. Tapos super unfiltered yung mga words. Sometimes I wouldn't even understand. And that's what I meant na kids are on TikTok. Mga mamaya, they're gonna hear something that's like, yeah, not for them. Tapos they're gonna start using it. And then people are gonna be like, who taught them that? Yeah, and also I think protection din sa mga kids. Yeah, because there's a lot of... Inappropriate stuff na din yun pala. Super. Inappropriate, yeah. I mean... Ako nga na matanda na pag nakikita ko, wow! What are you doing? Oh, di, tsaka ano talaga, wala na tayong barriers because lahat ng bansa, <laughs> lahat ng bansa nakikita mo yung... Yeah, there's like no privacy. Yan yeah, yeah. Like no privacy then with... Kasi some people are influenced and but over a lot of other people. You yeah, know, nga, of course. Naging, naging, nagkaroon ng generation of... Influencers! <laughs> well, <laughs> I hate it. Uh, well, it well, is what it is. Sabi ko nga, di ba, I am an influencer. I have two followers. Si Eli at saka si Gido. Sila yung pinaka-importanting ma-influence ko sa buhay ko. Hindi yung ibang tao. But of course, we are part of a bigger community now that you can actually influence uh, good things. Diba, sa, depende yan talaga sa kung anong gusto mong i-put out sa mundo. Yeah. But it's very difficult kasi ako, affected ako personally dun sa mga kids na nag-tiktok, lalo na yung mga girls. Yeah. You know, before, before pa to nagkaroon ng mga kung ano-ano mga platforms, I, ako kasi, I'm an, a documentary junkie. Super. So, super. <laughs> Mapatulog ko siya, guys. Lamalabas Crime ako, documentaries. Lamalabas ako sa room ko, tapos tulog si mom and then I'd see on her phone documentary. Oo, oh, <laughs> nakakatulog oh, ako sa kanya. Again. <laughs> Tapos, ano, parang nababother ako kasi, di ba, there's a lot of mga predators. Ah, yun, yeah. Dati pa yun eh. Y- ah, dark webs pa, meron pang dark webs. Wala ang dark webs ngayon. Prangkahan na ngayon Ay, sa social really, media. Yung favorite kong panood din minsan, like dati, during quarantine, yung mga catching predators on this... Yes! This. Oh my God, I love that! <laughs> yes, yung so British you, show... No. Oh, ako hindi. Ako sa YouTube. Yung mga channels <laughs> are dedicated to that. Yung mga YouTube channels na like... Hindi kasi ako. Yung mga sa akin yung... Oh, another platform is Discord pala. Ay, oo. Oh, ko siya kausap. Discord, messen- <laughs> Discord Messenger. Wala akong kaalam alam doon. Pero dahil doon niya gusto makipag-usap. Doon ko siya kanakausap. No, hindi, hindi doon ako. Doon ko lang gusto mag-usap kasi yung phone ko at the time broke. Wala akong number noon. Ah, oh, okay. Never I remember. Kaya you can no. message... What? <laughs> I remember. <laughs> that, that's why this phone is yours, diba? You gave it to me. Hand yeah. me down. Kasi nga nasira ko yung phone. Anyways, m- moving on. <laughs> so Discord, I used to watch YouTube uh, videos na would show like people making fake accounts to go to predators and catch them. And yeah. then send it to, you know. That's they actually catch them. That's the good part. But, oh, but... In hindi lang. sila, ano? Hindi sila yung totoong real deal, of course. Like, they're just oh, YouTube Parang videos. pinapahiya. Yan ba yun, di ba? Ni- no, 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 no. They actually, nila. no. They show it to cops and the police. authorities. Yeah. Authorities. Talagang, they put their way. Kasi they know it's wrong, of course. I mean, yeah. Anybody with the brain would know that it's wrong. But like, parang, the way I see it, kasi it's like, oh, wait, it's also a good way to influence people to not do it. Like, to not do the... A predatorial yeah, thing. Yeah, like, and to seek help na din. Kasi they always tell them to like, if you're like, if you have thoughts like this, seek help. Kasi it, you have to. <laughs> but like, um, I found them entertaining because yes, no, in a, they get humiliated, but no. they get caught in the end. And you know, important for, for me, like for, I guess, satisfa- satisfactions. What? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Basta. Basta. Basta yun. Yeah. So, yun ang concern ko. Yung mga Predators. kids na yeah. dati, naalala ko, bata pa ako nun, bata-bata pa ako nun. Yung nanonood nga ako nun, wala pa talagang mga uh, kung ano man meron ngayon. Talaga nanonood ako ng documentaries about it. I'm so scared. Kasi nga, I think, pagka you're a minor, lalo na nung, ngayon, di ba, lahat, pakita babies, pakita ganyan, pakita ganyan. Pero ang feeling ko, wala naman silang alam about consent. 
So, I think it's very important for me. Like, ako, gusto ko minsan talaga mag-post na mag-post sa mga pictures nyo, no? Mga bata kayo. Nung una, hindi lang nag-Facebook, guys. Pero nung nag-Facebook ako, lahat ng photos mo, araw-araw, nagpo-post ako. Oh, so, yung suya na nga yung mga tao sa pagpo-post ko, eh. Pero, pero it was so personal before na hindi mo naalala, hindi mo nakikita na delikado pala siya. Yeah. Super. So, yun. Yun ang concern ko, yung mga bata na nagpo-post na sa social media without... Uh, without supervision. Sige, okay lang yan kung may supervision. But I'm still, I'm still on that, ano, percentage na, uh, think na, wala pa rin talaga silang consent. Yeah, tsaka wala silang idea. Mm-mm. Like, they, they, like, wala silang consent, but they also have no idea what they're getting into. Kasi, without the proper guidance din, like, supervision, yes, is important. But sometimes, if you don't have proper guidance in general with, the internet, especially social media, how do I put it? Let's just say, bad things are gonna happen kasi not only are there predators or like, scams. May maraming okay. scam ngayon. Eh. So there's predators, there's scams, and there's hackers. Those are like the big three of social media baddies. Like, there's hackers who can find where you live from everywhere around the world. Like, kahit saan ka. I mean, some people just do it for the sake of wala pampas pampatakot lang kasi people don't really lot of, lot of people don't really have bad intentions when they're doing that but the people who do have bad intentions no you'll know when they have bad intentions when they're near you <laughs> like i say omegle is a really dangerous play <laughs> i aim it <laughs> omegle is an example ano omegle omegle okay my mom doesn't know omegle is a site where you get to talk to strangers from everywhere in the world Wag kang mamunta dyan. Hell no. Okay. Hindi <laughs> ko alam yan, ha? That's something new, ha? Omegle? Know? Omegle, Omegle. If you pronounce it, whatever. O-M-E-G-L-E. L-E. Dot com. Omegle. So, it's like, famous. it's really dangerous there kasi it's super unfiltered. As in like, people will be like, really weird. <laughs> Let's just say that. So, you know, Omegle, like a lot of people get scared there kasi people can find out where you live on there. Like, talagang, you will find out where you live. Like, coordinates mo, where you are. Whoa! Yeah! Ganun ka specific? Yeah, legit. Oh, no. So, tapos, kung nakuan ka mo, pwede nila, yun nga, pwede nila kita yung ka mo. Like, you have to be careful with what you have also. Pero, Kaya tinatakpan yung mga cameras, di ba? Yeah. P- Tama. Pero wait, l- l- I'll get to that in a bit. Okay. What I'm trying to say <laughs> is, yun nga, um... Omegle is a big example for places that you should be careful of because in yeah, those big three always lurk. Not always, but mostly lurk there. Especially predators. Yeah, yun, yun, and talagang, that's their life. In, in internet. <laughs> well, it's no boy. Yeah. They don't have a life, that's why. <laughs> anyway, hackers, just be careful of them because they're scammers in the general. Like, they'll scam you for money. <laughs> All they want is money, let's be yeah. honest. Like, if there, there are two types of hackers. They're the big name ones that like, hack into government stuff, but that's a whole different thing. Yung mga nasa social media, yung mga pagtripan lang or pang blackmail, yung mga petty. Oh, pero and no nagkar- one who wants money. That's what it was. Hindi, ano yan, ha? Nag- nagkaroon ng time na, di ba, yung pagka hinahack nila yung, ano, ay, para mag-send sila ng picture ng, o, oh, picture mo, katawan mo, na oh, yeah, nakabra, yeah, or nakapanty lang, or whatever, until dumating dun sa, I ba blackmail kanila. Yeah. Tapos hindi lang sila extortion extortion ng pera. Yeah, that's oh, that's a different type of bad. Yeah, there's a lot of those in the internet too. Um ano na, hackers. 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 Oh my god. There is hackers, predators and <laughs> scammers. Scammers, yeah. So, <laughs> please be careful of those three cuz they're le- le- legit everywhere. Like Fake accounts also exist. Oh, there's also the fake account users. Okay, so, yung private pa ako sa Instagram ko, yung main ko. Dami nag-request na follow ng mga fake account yung mga. If you're, okay, let's say, yung feed ko, kasi may algorithm sa Instagram, yung feed ko pero, dati, Fortnite. So, I used to play, oh, I used to play Fortnite. <laughs> I don't anymore though. Anyway, I used to play Fortnite. So, inst- I'd search up big, um... Influen- no, influencers, uh, influencers, content creators, YouTubers, all that, that post Fortnite in general. So, when Instagram got that, I'd get fake accounts following me. Hey, look at this, free Fortnite skins, mga ganun. 
stuff. Just follow back this and that. Of course, they're gonna take your money. Those are really good. Pero, the fake account users, if they find out what you like, they're also gonna, like, do, like, really weird stuff. Like, they're gonna make fake accounts for... Ano yun? Like... Ano yun? Hindi ko lang. Let's say, like, <laughs> let's say, like, a good-looking model. Like, ah, yeah. Mga ganun. Like, talagang... Tapos, they're gonna ask for pictures of your face. Tapos, yun, yun, blackmail, extortion. Yun. Yeah. So... Be careful of those. Like, never, ever follow. I'm sure you'll know. I mean, that's pretty much common No, sense. but not but, like, everybody not knows. Not everybody knows. Kaya yeah. I'm trying to say it right now. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm saying careful. na kahit na sabihin natin, syempre meron mga areas na hindi naman well-educated pagdating sa internet or social media. Tayo kasi we know. But not not all people know. Diba? So, ako kasi maaga kita sinabihan na, oh, wag ka magbibigay Actually, ng information. I only got to use social media during the, co- the pandemic. Hmm, kasi hindi naman kita pinapayagan. Yeah. Eh. Dati, yung phone pa niya, may, na, merong akong app nun na... Ha? Our Pact. Our Pact. I remember Yung app so ko well. na yun, parang nakaschedule kung anong time lang niya pwedeng gamitin yung phone niya. Tapos, as in, nagiging break phone siya. Oh, nagiging alarm clock lang wala, siya. Wala akong, wala, akong, wala akong YouTube, wala akong games. No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's no, a... No, it's a good way to discipline me though. I mean, yeah, and also it's a role of the parent na to... to... to prevent you from being sucked in that, ano... in that, that, that air, in that space. Yeah. Kasi, hindi naman puro teenagers lang eh. I mean, ako din naman. Noong nag-start yung Instagram noong 2010, 2011, nasa London ako noon, wala naman mga selfie noon eh. Kunan mo yung pagkain mo, breakfast, yung, hindi mo, nasa social media siya ngayon. No, Ganun no. na sila ka-addict. I'm just checking some. Oh, see? <laughs> no, <laughs> Yun no, nga yung mean, point ko. Uh, anyways, But anyways. before, naging marketing tool na kasi siya. Before kasi, it was just really an expression parang nung may Facebook nag-Facebook ako, na syempre, nakakatuwa kasi you get, yun naman yun eh, one of the, I mean, one main good thing about social media is that you get to connect, connect with your friends, your families, your... You get to see what's happening with them, last time. Yeah. Yeah, like, So, nung, nung nag-start yung Facebook, o oh, nag-ano ako, tapos parang na, na, na burnout ako, so, tapos nagkaroon ng Twitter, hindi ako pang, ano, pang Twitter as well, pang though. Twitter kasi uh, kahit na may sense of humor mo sa sinabi doon pa rin magbabasis sa nagbasa kung ano yung ibig sabihin mo parang they get to ano parang kung sarcastic ako they will think na it's true so alam mo naman ngayon sensitive na so wala akong Facebook saka Twitter matagal na Today so, nung lumabas wild. yung Instagram bilang photographer, hobbies, di ba, ng photography, nung lumabas yung Instagram, sabi ko, oh my God, this is the platform for me. Yung yeah. wala kang kailangan i-explain. Tapos, pwede private yung account mo. Oo, tapos post ka lang, eh, syempre, nasa London ako, ganda ng London, picture ka dito, picture ka dito. <laughs> And that was just it. And then, all of a sudden, nagkaroon ng tipping point na naging marketing tool siya na, yun. Just checking your eye, look. Just go, just go, just go. Going back, naging marketing tool na siya. So, teenagers and their hair. Sorry. So, so hindi, hindi na siya about, about passion. It's not about your personality na. It's going to, it, now it's curated lives. ba? Diba? You get to curate your lives. And, ang pangit ng impact nun sa mga taong uh, walang ano eh, hindi alam kung anong ibig sabihin ng curated lives. Because yun ang parang naging influence nila sa buhay nila. They get parang uh, depressed na hindi kagaya nila yung buhay nil- kagaya ng buhay nila yung buhay nung fina-follow nila so it's it's a completely different era na nag-start yung Instagram so pa-evolve na siya nang pa-evolve yung TikTok naman lahat na TikTok is different kasi <laughs> grabe pero ang I'm, on a, I'm on a different side of TikTok kasi mm, sige, my side yung mga humor ko mga memes sauce mga yung mga nagpa-viral na funny sounds, mga ganun. Hindi na ako, I mean, TikTok started out as like dancing, promote na music. Kaya ayaw ko ng TikTok at first, eh, kasi sabi ko, what is this? <laughs> sabi ko talaga, yeah, <laughs> may payak na lang ako. But, when I found out that TikTok was growing, and I was like, fine, I'll do it just for the sake of doing it. Eh, I got hooked kasi, ay, may yung side ko, lot of basketball. Kasi doon din nagpo-post ng mga basketball. Then, I'm on edits. Like, I see edit videos. Yung mga... Tapos, I get hooked on to the music. Ako, na-addict ako sa TikTok. Mainly because of the music. I, that's where I found most of the songs that I like nowadays. And then, 
Um, workouts then then ako nakakahanap. I find most of the sh- stuff that I do there because of TikTok. Uh, like the algorithm that I've grown. Pero when I signed into a new account for my for a school project, I started seeing like what is this? They always the first thing that they show you is a for you page. The first thing that they show you is they build your algor they build what your preference is by seeing what you like. Pero nakikita ko na lang yung mga famous people, let's say uh who's a famous person nowadays? Me. <laughs> no. Okay. Yes, you are. Who, I know, but no. On TikTok, I mean, like yung mga talagang 2 million likes per post. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. Talaga? Addison Rae, that's an example. Like, let's say... <laughs> she was the top, no? She's Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio. Now? I have no clue. I don't follow with that stuff. <laughs> I don't follow with that stuff because that's not my thing. And TikTok will know what your thing is because that's why they have a for you page. Ako yung mga stuff ko ngayon, yung mga yung audios, yung mga self-improvement videos, <laughs> yung mga edits, gaming videos, basketball. Basketball is my number one though. Basketball and gym stuff, like super grabe. As in, kasi nga diba, yung when I started working out, I'd search up on TikTok sometimes. What workouts can I do? Yung mga short lang, yung mga, pwede ko gawin sa dumbbells, uh, pwede ko gawin with my body, like body weight, all that. And, that's when I found out, na, oh, this so okay yung TikTok. Okay yung TikTok. Kasi yung YouTube kasi, ang dami ng mga fake to. <laughs> Hindi, tsaka yung, well, ako kasi, Hindi ka uh, nags, nag, nag-TikTok din ako eh. <laughs> hindi ko na pala kaya. <laughs> Noong umpisa parang, hindi ko kasi makuha yung... Parang may study daw talaga sa TikTok, yung mga, it will shorten your intention span. I mean, lahat naman simula, nagsimula yung internet, it will shorten your attention span. Pero ngayon, can you imagine with the flick of your, ano, your your thumb, ilang information yung nakukuha mo by just, di ba? Yep. Swiping. My God. My so, gosh. my God. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think no overpower nung nung ako ha yung negative yung positive kasi That's pwede true. naman talaga siyang positive eh. 'Di ba? Ang dami mo nakikita doon ng mga learning learning uh, channels, ano ba yun? page or whatever. Pages, yeah. Pages. Ang dami naman yan eh. Nakaka- natututo ka ng magluto ng pinakbit nang hindi ka marunong <laughs> ng pinakbit. Speaking of the negative overpowering the positive. There's a lot of content creators there that are genuinely just toxic. Either for content or that's just their personality. So a lot of people nowadays, them being content creators, they get influenced and they start becoming toxic too. They get their habits. Like let's say, um, there's this guy on TikTok na cool, you are aura niya cool. But the way he talks to people is like, hey, uh, like you're a bitch, all that. Sabi mo ito tut na lang natin. You're a bitch, all that stuff. Sas, you're just mean talaga. And I was like, I mean. People will find that funny. I found it funny at first, especially like of course I find it funny. Like it's the context is like out of nowhere. But <laughs> when I started to realize that it makes you sound like a really bad person, I'm like, oh, never mind. And then now every time, I, every now and then that I visit, I know, parang it's really mean to do that to people that you don't know. But, pero yeah, like I have really had anger issues when it comes to games. Anger issues ako road rage. Sige. Anyways, so when it comes to games, I can uh, I hold myself back by not actually saying it. I say. Naririnig kita. No, I don't say it to the people though. I'm I not, know. Naririnig yeah, nga kita. Pati ako na influence nun yung energy nun. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> sabi moving kasi on. niya, there was a time na sabi niya. Mom, pwede ba ako mag, mag-curse, magmura? Sabi ko, okay, sige. It's Dahil, not ilan, ilan taon ka na, no? 14, 13? 13. Sabi ko, sige, sige, so pwede Fortnite naman. Ako. Kasi wala naman, I mean, wala tayong magagawa. Dadating ka naman sa point ng buhay mo na matututo ka nun. I love my mama. <laughs> Ay, ayoko lang talaga sa harapan ko, syempre. <laughs> Anyways. Na, syempre na, pangit, pangit. Yeah. Ano <laughs> so sa harap ni Guido? Siyempre hindi pwede. Oh, yan yeah, no. Ano so sa harap ng ibang tao? Dun sa room mo habang nakikipag-game ka. Friends ko na naman. Kung yun ang lingwahe nyo, wala tayong magagawa. But, <laughs> I don't want you to use that outside of that space. Because, of course, it's not nice. I don't go up to random people and say, Hey, hey oo you. naman. Bakit ka pumunta sa random people because to say that? Because that's what I'm trying ano to say. Ba? People are influencing other people to do that. That's why I don't like watching those channels in the first... Anyways, moving on. <laughs> so, yun. Ako, for me... Uh, personally, yung social media gets to 
alam mo yung minsan yung kailangan mo mag-break. Actually, hindi minsan. Essential na mag, mag, mag-social media break ka. Kahit sabi mo pang isang araw yan, dalawa, one week, one month, it's really, really good for your ano, mental health. My social media breaks your school. <laughs> Ilang oras lang yun? Kaya nga. <laughs> no, but kasi naman, I don't understand. I don't fully get the, like, no, not fully get, sorry. I don't fully, like, receive the weight of the talagang pagod ako from social media. I use social media as, like, okay, music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Di ba nga po naliligo ako yung music? Oh. Yeah. Hindi na nga nagsispotify eh. Talaga? TikTok na yun? Wow! Kaya nga minsan, pag narinig mo, may nakaloop. Ah, uh, Okay. Dati kasi pag naliligo siya, Spotify, so alam ko yung playlist niya. So, workout, ngayon... Workout ko. Alam ko yung TikTok. Ano ko minsan. Kasi, no, because on Spotify, they don't really, like, have the same uh, music. Kasi, TikTok, people, Merong music DJs, creators. Ah, remixes, yeah. guitar. So, yung mga ganun. Of course, ang angas ng sound kasi mga rap songs yung pinapakinggan ko. So, I get hyped. So, I'd rather listen to that. Pero yung mga original songs, I listen to that when I wanna chill. Like, okay. when I wanna, like, talagang feel and hear the music, the art of the artist, Eddie, Spotify, I'm gonna listen to the original. But the TikTok ones, pag gusto ko lang magpagtripan with my, you know. So, masasabi mo ngayon that TikTok is the platform right now. It's what's happening, Like, the no? number one? Yeah, yeah, the number one. Instagram is dying. Even Instagram got desperate. Like, they're doing reels. The reels, yeah. Even YouTube! YouTube oh, has, you, you, you YouTube shorts. shorts. What is oh, this? Oh, binago TikTok yung ano eh. Yung <laughs> gaming. Minsan din ako sa TikTok. I huh? get, no, like, that's why I use YouTube shorts every now and then. I'm like, oh. No, it's Instagram kasi puro memes. Hindi pa rin talaga sa algorithm na sinet mo. Sa, but, sa YouTube yung mga shorts na mga videos na mga like, you, y- y- yun yung, I think yun yung isa sa mga important things na ma-acknowledge natin eh, na yung TikTok, i- ano mo yung mga preferences mo, yung yung social media in in ano in general, preferences mo kaya nagkakaroon ng algorithm, 'di ba? So nakikita mo yung gusto mo, pero at the end of the day, gabi na. But at the end of the day, oh my god. <laughs> yung yung ang nagbabago nila yung algorithm ng buhay mo. Yun yung wala nang wala nang proble- problema, ang ganda no na. I'm so wise. <laughs> I feel like Ugway. I'm like, I'm ugoy. <laughs> No, but but it's true. Ikaw nagbigay ng ano, preference mo sa algorithms ng platform, pero ikaw after a while, yung algorithm na ng mentality mo yung nababago nila. Tama yeah. ba? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I agree to myself. I agree. To myself. But yun nga, so it's it's imperative. Ha? I use that word imperative. Kailangan na talagang mag social media break. And I think it's important for parents to explain to their children, to their teenagers, or to anybody, to, to themselves, na you need to take a break because you are not being present anymore sa buhay mo. Diba? Tayo, uh, we, we set boundaries. Like, pag mm. magkasama tayong family, dapat di ka nag-phone. Or, or meron kang kausap. Sa dinner table, number one. Eh. Sa dinner table, bawal may nagtetelepono. Yeah. Diba? Unless pag you're kumakain. Eating. Unless you're done eating, diba? Oh, yun. When you're done eating, you can. Kaya nga kanina, di ba, tumatawag si Jaime. Sabi ko, wag mo nang sagutin kasi kumakain tayo. And I think nagkakaroon ka ng ano eh, better... Basketball. <laughs> better basketball. CH. <laughs> no, but but it's important eh. Kasi nawawala na yung ano eh. Uh, na, nagiging limitless na yung control sa atin ng, ng phones natin eh. This little, di ba, pati yung tablets natin. Yeah, that's why, that's why I believe in the AI will like, not believe for like I have a feeling that the AI would uh, versus Black Mirror is the shit. No, but yeah. but yeah, for me it's essential na you you get to talk about it sa family. Uh, it doesn't matter kung ilan taon yan. Naririnig ka ni Bad sa Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but really, it's it's ano uh, iba na iba na yung iba na yung mundo ngayon. I know, and talagang Ako, personally, hirap ako eh. Hirap ako sa social media. Dati na-enjoy ko siya. But since already it's a business tool, hirap ako eh. Kasi iba yung values ng work ko. Nag-start ako mag-work, nine years old ako. Nag-taping na ako, nag-film na ako. Iba yung natutunan ko sa experience ko sa set, sa mga veterans na nakasama ko. Mas-mas-mas strict nun eh. Ngayon, iba na eh. 
ibang iba na. <laughs> Gusto mo yun. Ang dami yung sabihin noon, di ba? But, but iba na yung, ewan ko, pati yung, yung work na sinasabi ng mga influencers, ng mga tiktokers, ng mga vloggers. Yes, it's work, but it's different from nakinalakihan kong work. I mean, I guess kayo din, mga medyo matatanda na dyan, no? Ralph! <laughs> Woo! Bad! Iba yung work natin noon, wala naman tayong ganito noon. Hindi, hindi tayo lahat may platform. Of course, natutuwa ako na ang mga musicians, artists, nagkaroon talaga sila ng platform to share their work. Because before, talagang struggle is real. Struggling mm. artist ka talaga pag nagsastruggle ka. Ngayon, <laughs> okay yan? So, ngayon, nagkakaroon na ng parang nasa-share nila yung art nila sa mundo. They get validated also when people like them. They get famous when they become uber known and everybody likes their work. But that's fine. Pero ako, hindi ko pa rin talaga siya ma-meet nun sa, sa trabaho ko. Kaya... Uh, social media for me is still a mystery. I think it wasn't a mystery before, but it's a mystery now because I think I'm older. And I think I'm older. <laughs> Wala na akong ibang ano dun, but I think nalalaman ko na yung sinasabi na hindi ka, di ba yung mga magulong natin dati, ay, hindi ka maintindihan yung mga gusto nyo yung mga cassette tape na yan. Mga <laughs> ano, yan, sige, bibili kami CD, yung gano'n, nasa antagal mo sa record store. Yun yun eh, hindi, na, di, hindi nila tayo naiintindihan. Pero ngayon, di ko na talaga kayo naiintindihan. Yes. I think dumating na ako dun sa point na para na ako nung, may generation gap na talaga. Yeah. Oo, tapos, It's but, the but it's good, no, na kahit pa paano, kasi medyo teki talaga ako nung bata pa lang ako, nag-aaral ako mag-hack, yung mga ganun pa, what? windows pa, oo, oo. Pero hindi ko naman siya tinuloy, kasi kung tinuloy ko siya, wala ako dito ngayon. <laughs> Nag-hack ako, ang dami ko ng pera. But, but, no, but to be serious, um, iba na, iba na yung generation. And I think, iba pa yung magiging generation ni Guido, because he's just two years old. And I think... Yeah, th- I, we were talking about it nga, me and my friends... Like, the next generation... I'll, sh- I'll just make it a little bit better. Uh, the next generation is gonna be messy. <laughs> it's already messy. It's so it's be, gonna be messier. Yeah, it's gonna be... Yeah, but for us, it's gonna be messy. Because for us, we the way we understand it is pretty compact. But next generation is gonna be messy because there are... A good guy, but... <laughs> anyway, there are already kids who are beginning to, well, not beginning to understand, but they're beginning to know what our generation knows. And that's bad. And that's bad. Next thing you know, there's going to be a lot of wrong things with uh, kids that are like already by 10. They already know that they can't. Oh, kasi yeah. si Guido kasi hindi talaga siya mahilig mag ano, mag-iPad. Minsan nga pinipilit na namin mag-iPad kasi huy, iPad ka naman kahit 5 minutes lang kasi para so naman makapagpahinga kami, oh. makahiga kami. Kasi he's very active. Bago namin siya inintroduce he's sa active. tablet. Oo, oh, hindi ba? Di ba? Bago yeah. inintroduce sa tablet, talaga nasa labas kami eh. Park, talagang active oh, yeah, sa laba, that. sa tubig, sa batya. I mean, <laughs> pin-experience ko talaga kay Guido na You know, to yung bata alive. siya. To be, yes. So, nung nagkaroon na siya ng parang iPad, mu- movies muna, di ba? Pixar, lahat yan. Ang saya. Tapos, nagkaroon ng YouTube Kids. YouTube Kids? Matagal din. Oo, pero yung sabihin, syempre, wala na akong anak dun. Yeah, yeah, ako na lang. Bata. Tapos, ano pa ako. So, nagkaroon ng YouTube Kids. And then, grabe, nakikita mo, kailangan talaga with supervision. Because you'll never know kung anong pwede nila Even mapanood. Even on YouTube kids, they, prom- they are like, they're allowed to post guns. Gido, no? Sa Kaya say, ako... Gido, no? Sa to say pew pew. Oo, oh, pew pew. Kaya ako, grabe ang pagkaka-filter ko ngayon. Grabe talaga, lahat bawal. <laughs> Tapos lahat ng mga ayoko ng mga YouTube channels for kids. Talagang, anong tag doon? Bablock mo? Bablock or... Or like, unfo- no, uh, Not really unfollow. Yeah. Para siyang naka-filter na hindi kasama doon sa algorithm, algorithm na papanoorin ni Guido. So, malilimitahan mo naman. But as parents, we have to do our part. Kailangan natin maging masipag doon sa education about what's out there. To, ano, para rin ma- ma- ma-prevent natin yung bad things that can happen to kids. Eto na eh, it's already out there. Ano ba to? Ano ng book? Sorry, hey, nako. it's really disturbing me too. Oh, ako din. Oh, okay, so, ibig ko sabihin, as parents, no, I have a teenager and I have a two-year-old, it's our jobs to 
take care of what they are uh, digesting through the internet. Kailangan, kailangan na ano. Ako nga, hindi ko na na, to be honest, hindi ko na nababantayan si Ila eh. And ito yung, hindi pa naman completely developed yung brain nila. Teenager sa hindi pa completely developed yung brain nila. So, ang dami pang mga content na pwedeng pumasok sa utak mo na talagang... Na, like the phone I told you. Oh, yung, buti na lang, maaga ka tayong sinabihan. <laughs> yeah, kasi if you didn't, I would be... Yeah, kasi hindi na ako makokontrol, di ba? 2019 is when I like started to take um, the internet wrong. Like yung mga mali. Yes, I know. Kasi I used to be influenced. But when I... Buti nga rin sa... Buti na rin sa mga tao that I used to talk to. They told me naman I was wrong. And I was, that's when I realized na, oh, my influence is wrong. Yeah, so... so it's, it was my environment na din. Pero sila din naman mali. Anyway, that's... Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a anyway, different... Anyway. So, yeah, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so, I think... Uh, Ikaw, teenager ka, you see that, yung point of view mo. Ako, as your mom, anong nakikita mo? Tingin nga. As, what do you mean? As you, I mean, ikaw, as a teenager, paano mo nakikita yung social media para sa aming matatanda? Para oh, naman may insights place, ka. I think it's a place for you guys to, ano, at least, no, at least, no. It's a place for you guys to be able to share your thoughts. Like, because... Ayoko nga share your thoughts. No, no, no. I meant share your thoughts about the new generation. And there's a lot of people who are gonna be, like, super upset about it. But there's a lot of people my age who are actually, like... Dun, dun, dun. Like, actually, no, like, actually reasonable. Because, let's be honest, a lot of kids my age are not that nice. <laughs> but... Yeah. <laughs> but, so, like, I'm kind of super surprised ako na, like, oh my god, he doesn't, like, legit sound... A lot of kids have no manners. Yeah. Like, but that starts fr- that starts from home also. Yeah, that's true. But like most of it also comes from media. Because people, let's say me, from home, I got taught manners. But outside, big lap mama, oh, because of this influencer that I know, I'm gonna be mean. Yeah. Or like, I'm gonna be like dishonorable, all that. It's super. And I'm not saying media is the fault. Of course, media has a lot of positives. You get to learn new things. You get to explore what others have I know others thoughts are like about other things like let's say reviewing for a product or reviewing a movie I yeah. love watching those like parang video essays video essays are my favorite things to watch bruh <laughs> it can be about bruh. sorry it's about games movies TV shows whatever I love them but you know it's very social media is also very Information, ano. Like Yun inform- naman talaga dapat. In- internet naman is started as information. Yeah. Pero, I guess, nandun tayo sa buhay na every generation may bagong lalabas. At pag talagang magkakaroon ng positive, ginawa naman yan for a positive, ano eh. For a, for a positive thing. Ngayon na nga lang, with malice na rin yung paggawa. Dati kasi talaga yung internet, it was for a good thing. ba For information, education, and then, of course, nagkaroon na ng mga dark webs, etc., etc. Pero nga, nakikita ko ngayon... That's for a whole different world. Before. And that was our world, world nung nag-start yun. Diba? <laughs> Yahoo Mail pa yun. <laughs> diba? <laughs> diba? Yun yung mga ano natin eh. Uy, magkikita. Eyeball pa yung... <laughs> YM. That was Friendster. <laughs> yun yung simula eh. Then, MySpace. Oh, may MySpace din ako. Ah, tsaka, oh, MySpace tama. Ano ba isa? Multiply. O, oh, yan. Multiply. Tsaka live, oh, live journal. Yan. Diyan ako nagsusulat. But, yun nga. Yun yung generation ko na, you know, it was, it was still very small. Malaki siya, but it was still very small. Compared to anong meron ngayon na talagang wala ng barriers. You know, you get to know everything about the world. Everything about good things and everything about bad things. So, ngayon din, yung mga, ano, ah, uh, gumagawa ng mga platforms, I think with malice na yan eh. Nalalaman ko, parang nakikita mo na na, of course, mas malakas yung uh, users ng ganitong ano, generation na ganito yung pinapakinggan. So with malice na eh, nakikita ko ah. Ako yon personally. So, a- ako, I still have a, uh, may aversion pa rin ako sa social media because I guess, I'm a, vi- a very private person. And I think sa mga sa mga parents, it's important to 
di ko alam kasi yung ibang parents, hindi naman din private. So, ako personally, kung meron kayong mga anak, it's important that you tell them about privacy, you talk about that, that you don't share too much, di ba? Uh, may private account kami about just family kasi syempre I wanna share some stuff na ayokong ma-share sa madlang people I have my private lahat yon nag-reconnect lang ako sa mga friends ko din sa London yung mga naging na nawala dahil sa Facebook hindi na ako nag-Facebook so syempre gusto ko mag-reconnect dun sa mga naging ano ko landlady ko na tumulong sa akin. Yung mga ganun, you know, you get to know them personally. But they're also not... Uh, you know, I'm a celebrity. I'm an actor. I'm an influencer to followers. <laughs> but, hindi ko gustong ipakita sa kanila yung mga private moments ko. Dati okay lang eh. Kasi hindi, wala pa siya talagang, ano eh, in, Impact? Or wala, hindi pa ganun ka mean yung tao eh. That's true. Ngayon, Gumawa ka ng pangit, mean sila. Gumawa ka ng maganda, mean pa din sila. So, kailangan maano yun eh, ma, ma, magkaroon ng self-preservation. Kaya nga may private Instagram account siya. Kasi ayoko na pinapakita niya yung nangyayari sa bahay. Or siya, private person na rin siya. Kasi ako, nga, dahil din sa akin. Yeah, ako, I don't post on my Instagram unless I'm like updating na, oh, my stream. Or, oh, like, I look good here. Pero even then, I don't post that much kasi... Despite how I, how I feel good about myself, I'm like, they don't need to see that. Oh, they don't need my, to see. My mindset is, people don't need to see what I'm doing in my life. Why care? Yeah. So, if I want to post, Eddie, I'll post na, oh, look, I look good. But it's just a way for me to feel better. But like, even the, in, even then, I'm like, yeah. people don't need to see it anyway, but what up? Share ko lang. <laughs> Oo, so yun yung gusto kong ma- malaman mo, di ba? And, yeah, and, uh, and I'm proud of him kasi hindi siya... Wala, <laughs> hindi mo siya ma... Makikita mo siya, gwapo siya. Mm, I love you, anak. Gwapo siya. <laughs> yeah, nag-workout siya, may sport siya. That's fine with me because, yun nga eh, within the world of influencers, ano ba talaga ang gusto mong ipakita na may influence mo yung batang makakakita nun? Oh, also, ano, sorry to cut, pero ako, I like... I don't like posting like about my workouts and stuff because I like keeping it in the dark na like... Oh, let's say you see me for the first time, but you recognize me. Tapos ni mo pala alam na, oh, I do this for my workout, I play basketball, all this. I'm okay with sharing that when I know I can share it. Na I'm confident. You're confident, in. yeah. But yeah. even when I'm not confident in, I can I can post a basketball or like a hoop. Tapos I'm outside. But I'm not like super... No, because there's a lot of people na nagpapakool talaga. Like, in, oh, naman. like super nagpapakool with eh, over the... Eh, kasi they get insecure with the lives that they see on the, interne- the internet. Yeah, but that, that's the thing. It's also something I learned my own, on my own. Parang, that's their life. I have my own. I'm good. I don't have to be jealous over that. Because what I have now is what I should be grateful for. Pero there are times where I'm getting like, Oh, I wish I had their money. Oh, I wish I had this and that. But then I realized na, never mind. I got my own way. Yeah, no. Mas so... Morales. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Spider-Man. I love Spider-Verse. Oh my God. I will do my own oh, I can't wait. So anyway, but yun nga, ako, ako personally, diba, you know that I tried. Oh yeah, you tried. You I did. tried everything. Yeah, you did. You I guess did. you have to, I know. But yeah, I don't understand nang talaga the, the connection of, kumbaga, sa work namin, sa work namin matatanda, ako an actor, kailangan mo mag-cross over to become an influencer. Lagi ko nga sinasabi noon, uh, yung body of work namin, yung trabaho namin, krabing chin up ka because you've done something. This is the work that you've done. Diba? You get to share I this. this. Yeah. I did this. I did this. But ngayon, pag maraming ang followers, y- ikaw na. Eh, di ikaw na. Ikaw. Diba? Parang... It's so, uh, meron pa rin siyang disparity sa akin. Hindi ko pa din siya ma-meet with my job. And, na-realize ko recently na I shouldn't care anymore. Kasi na, na-pressure din ako eh. Because the brands, the brands, they look for you in TikTok. They look for you on Instagram. And Pag may Facebook following ka, they get you. And this is money. Money to. So, money, money to. When it comes to us, trabaho to in short. Pero, yun nga yung sinasabi ko eh. 
hindi ko nga siya kasi trabaho. Mm. So, bakit ko kailangan pilitin? Okay, no. And up to now, nahihirapan ako emerge yung idea na, oh, shucks, kailangan ko, no? baka makakuha ako ng ano, insecticide na brand. Kasi kailangan ko mapakita, naglilinis ako sa bahay. Naglilinis ako sa bahay. <laughs> hindi ko kailangan pakita yun. Yeah, no, yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> If you fake it, then what's the point? Kasi, let's say, oh my, I have to, yun nga, I have to post my cleaning. But they only do it for the sake of the, the brand. Tapos mamaya, they want you to post a video of your cleaning. And you just clean. Mamaya, gano'n ka. Gano'n na. Hindi. Oh, eh. my. Hindi. <laughs> Ayan lang ako na kailangan mo. May, na, may pressure din talaga. May, ako, personally. May pressure siya sa akin as uh, as an actor. Because hindi ko naiintindihan na kailangan ko mag-crossover dun sa pagiging influencer. So, ando pa rin ako no, sa nowadays. cusp of, of trying to understand it. Because, one... I need it as a job, di ba? Kasi yun na yung trabaho ngayon eh. Pero, I'm also just an actor and a filmmaker. So, yun din talaga yung trabaho ko. So, nagkaroon ako ng, ano na, yung sa Meryl Soriano ko na Instagram. Follow me guys. On Instagram. <laughs> at Meryl Soriano. Kasi dati Planet Umeboshi yun eh. Yun talaga ako eh. Yung yeah, art. Yung ako, personality ko lahat nito. Ganito. Pero, dahil nga naging business card na siya. So, kailangan akong palitan yung Planet Umiboshi. <laughs> Everybody knows me na Planet Umiboshi. Meron akong following doon, guys. Ano ba? So, ngayon, kailangan akong maging Meryl Soriano sa, sa social media. And okay, naintindihan ko yun. But, nakipagsundo na rin ako sa utak ko na kung Meryl Soriano nga siya, trabaho ko lang ipapakita ko doon. Being, be, bilang actor. Yes, of course, meron mga personal stuff na yung pagiging cool ko. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yung pagiging cool ko sa mga outfits ko, gusto ko rin naman pakita yun eh. So, pwede ko pakita doon. But mostly, I want that account to be about acting. Because why? That is my job. I am an actor. So, I want it to be about my job. And nagkaroon naman ako ng, ng platform sa Dear Mama Meme to be me as a mother. Because that's already, that's also very me. Wala naman kaming yaya. Ngayon lang kami nagkaroon ng magtitingin kay Gito pag umaalis kami. But true to, true to yun sa ano ko, true to life yung talagang nanay ako. Naglilinis ako, ako nagpapaligo. Yung bathtub, kailangan akong linisin ng grabe. But you know, ang hirap nun ipakita all the time kasi ang pangit ko. <laughs> And yun yung problema doon, yung kailangan... Ayoko naman maging pangit habang nagpapakita ako naglilinis ng banyo, di ba? Siyempre, may yun nga yung sinasabi ko na self-preservation. But, yes. So, ako, as uh, as myself, I'm still having a difficult time on how to merge that. And then also, most of the time, I just think na I don't have to. Yeah. Di ba? Kaya lang, iba na yung work ngayon eh. Nagiging artista na yung mga influencers eh. Dahil malaking following nila, sinasama sila sa show. Kasi nga, mas malaki yung manonood, di ba? Yung group of people yeah, manonood. Yeah, like when find out like, oh, this person, like this famous person is gonna be in this movie. I'll watch that. Yeah, di ba? Yeah, it's not the other way around, eh. It's so not that, the other way around. That is the other way around. Like, oh my God, let's say Tom Cruise is on Twitter or Edward Norton is Instagram. I'm not, I'm not, no, I, don't, no. I, don't, I don't know that. I don't, <laughs> I don't, know don't that. think so. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but like, whatever. Let's say like that, like, oh my God. Pero ngayon is, oh my God, Alison Ray is in a movie. Let's watch the movie. Yeah. And then, ang dami yung bashers. That, that movie was bad. Diba? Movie. Kasi hindi naman talaga siya artista eh. So... <laughs> yeah, like... No, yeah. yeah nga. It's Kamawa like, din eh. They, 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 ano eh. They, they really use them for the name. Not talaga for the Talaga? For the, for the number of ano. Kaya ako sabi ko... For the number. What? What? It's all in the number. Kaya nga. So, and I think that also creates a lot of pressure sa mga influencers. Ah... Uh, They are very pressured. Ang daming nade-depress. Nakikita natin na uh, nag uh, mental health problems, Speaking suicide. That, yeah. Um among influencers then. I didn't mention this earlier because I just remembered it now. When I used to when I watch YouTube because there are a lot of influencers na let's say streamers like um who's a famous streamer like si Pokemon or You know, Sorry, right? natawa ako sa pangalan. Okay. Diba? Diba? Anyway, go ahead. Anyway. <laughs> Mom, Mom, anyway. Everyone, like, le- there's a lot of people who dislike her because she has a big ego because she's the biggest Twitch streamer. Like, biggest female Twitch streamer. Okay. Tapos, there are also people who are YouTubers na get caught doing something bad. Like, okay. There's a, a big thing in social media that I've always had, like, Like, uh, oh, that's interesting but sad moment for is 
yung mga YouTubers na sobrang funny na you grow you can grow up with tapos you're like oh my god I love them tapos bigla mamaya oh he's a pedophile pala yung mga ganun yun yung mga I get so sad over because they have a role they had like you know alam mo yung super na huwing alam ko yan hindi ko alam yung ano pero nakita ko yung news na yan madami, madami. yung mga people na like oh my god this person that I grew up with watching, like, being inspired by, is a predator. Like, sober nakaka-ruin sober nakaka- yun ng image. Or Kaya, lang, ulo mo. <laughs> yung mindset no, mo. No, image, no, like, image, your image of the person. Person, yeah. yeah. And not that, yeah, it's kind of so much hurt for you. Because if you're a childhood, if it's your childhood, then, oh my God, what about it now? Uh, yeah. The, so, yun nga. So, ang daming pressure sa kanila. No, I meant like, my point was, my point is with that pala, is super nakakasadan yung, sobrang nakakadrain yan, yung pressure, tsaka nakakadrain yung mental health nila because of, sometimes they have to keep up a facade. And that's not the real them. That's the thing about influencers din. Eh. They have, some people are talagang okay to be real, like themselves. My favorite YouTuber, shout out to him, I'm sure a lot of people know, si Cory Kenshin. <sighs> I love him because he's, I love him. He's my favorite YouTuber. Like, he, during quarantine, so ko siyang pinanood kasi nga, like, he's himself eh. Tapos, I went down a rapid hole of watching his videos and oh my God, he came from nothing. Talaga, like, parents' basement type stuff. Tapos, oh my God, inspire ko. Wala naman bad nangyari sa kanya. He's one of the good examples of what an influencer should, not should be like, but could be like, if they actually knew, like, how to like, kasi he also takes a lot of breaks. Talagang, naging meme na nga yung pag-post niya ng nine months later eh. <laughs> like, legit, meron siyang time na he posted a video, see you guys in the next upload. Nine months later, I'm back. <laughs> oh my. Like, super ako na, Oh, I love this guy. Kasi talagang he knows what he wants. And I'm not saying influencers should be like that. I mean... <laughs> Yun yung ibig sabihin. <laughs> no, like, no. I mean, like, I mean, like, they can be kasi. And they just choose not to be kasi. It's what the image... It, they think about their image more than their own health kasi. So, that's the thing why I don't like about influencers. Yeah. Like, they, like, they care about their image more than who they really are. And it's like, kakasad kasi people look up to you. Tapos, yun nga, back to Pokimane, I know, nakakatawa yung name, but oh my god, super grabe laki ng ego niya, na, she would like, ang dami na mga problems, <laughs> so many people in the community meme her for doing stuff like, copyright striking, big named YouTubers, streamers, or, thinking na, they said there's a new, the, the most recent thing with her, is like, there's a new, ano, streaming platform called Kick. And another big streamer named XQC got an offer with... Fi- I know. Oh, hindi. I'm listening. Hindi <laughs> ba? Yung Facebook kasi hindi, yung mga na, pangalan. Siyempre, eh. hindi. <laughs> hindi ko kasi alam itong mga to. And, you know, it's good to be educated by you. Yeah. That's a plus thing when you have a teenager. You, you know, you get to be educated also with the generation. You just have to have an open mind. Oh, go ahead. So, yeah. XQC got offered like $300 million for... To be the big... The, 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 to be their big named streamer for Kick, cause Kick's a new website, Kick's a new platform. So and I'm like, oh, that's cool, <laughs> that's cool. But then Pokey means like, oh, why didn't? But she got, I don't know if she's jealous or if she just has something with her head. I don't know. But she's like, oh, how come they sign XQC instead of me? Oh, talaga like, maga- Oh, but like Twitch is the same as Kick, even though I, mean, I don't know what the what that means. I don't. I'm not fully educated on it because I don't really care. But naf natawa ako na she's always in something bad. Like people are always calling her out, and I'm like. And dun din siya may following. Tapos no, Kaya niya no, no, no. She has the, she has following because she's a because she's a no. She's like the main image of. Oh, she's the first one na girl gamer na cute. Parang ganun. Oh, so everyone's like... Gusto nga yung ganyan. dami ni mga copycat. Copycats exist. Copycats exist. Tagal na. No, but like, super like... like cute talagang, bata pa kasi siya. <laughs> <laughs> Pero tagal like, na yan. Like for media, I mean, like, talagang media na so, sobrang blatant na nga minsan eh. Tapos yung... Yung mga ganun, yung nakaka-realize na... Well, not that I'm older than before na... Oh, streamers are streamers. Not I'm like, oh, streamers are really just people who have... Like, a job. 
Because it is it's a job. It's their job. Yeah, it's their job. Yeah, it's the new era. But of... then, you know, but like there are streamers that are real. Yeah, I, when I watch streamers, I like watching like small ones. Not small ones, but like ones that are like known but not super well known. You know what I mean? Parang, oh, that's big that making well known. But any, yeah, anyway. but because they are good at what they do. They do, yeah. So, like to sum this up, social media will and is affecting your life every day. So, um... Can be good, can be bad, but mostly bad. No, but it is affecting you. Yung, yung, yung behavior natin is affected already by social media. So, wala na tayong magagawa dun sa fact na yon. But meron tayong magagawa sa pag-self-preserve. These are the things na gusto kong maturo sa mga anak ko is, one, sa toddler ko is the supervision, di ba? Huwag tayong tamad. Huwag tayong tamad mag-supervise because nasa atin yun eh kung paano sila ma-affect nun eh. So, ganun din ako kay Eli. Hindi ko na, mas- hindi ko na masabayan kung anong meron. Pero, you know, we always talk about yung privacy, yung, uh, yung, yung break from, <laughs> from being on your phone all the time. But it also, also, it, it's also uh, important na tayong mga magulang, ganun din tayo. Role models din tayo doon sa, sa makikita nila sa bahay, nakikita nila on how we use social media. And it's difficult, ha? It's difficult as parents, lalo na ngayon. Dati, mahirap maging magulang because merong, merong, uh, merong, uh, di, ma, di, ano ko baga, yung anak mo, hindi pumasok, yung mga ganyan. Pero ngayon, wala na. Out of control na. Pero meron tayong obligation and responsibility sa mga anak natin at sa sarili natin. I am, I am very blessed na uh, maaga ako nag-work. I am very blessed na maaga ako nakita na ito yung totoong, hindi, hindi naman sa totoo. Kasi totoong trabaho rin naman yung pagiging influencer at maging vlogger or whatever na ako, ano meron yun. It's real work. At, at na ano kaya eh, nag-YouTube ako, di ba? Ako mat, nag-set up, ganyan-ganyan. Nakakapagod siya. It's real work, I know. Pero iba lang yung kinalakihan ko. So I'm very blessed na nakita ko yung dati at saka ngayon. Na nakikita ko na, yes, kaya mong gamitin yung social media sa maganda. Yes, uh, nadidestroy ng social media din yung buhay mo. These are these are facts. Hindi ako exempted doon. Facts. Facts you, last night. Oh, oh my God. Diba? Hindi ako exempted dun. I am part of that. I'm part of the whole community where social media is affecting you. Ako hindi dahil sa mga negative things, dahil makapal na may mukha ko, makapal yung balat ko, pero kahit na, nakaka-affect pa rin siya sabihin sa yung negative, ha? Pero yeah. nakikita ko kasi siya as a, as a difficult platform na nag invade sa buhay ko. So, meron akong... Uh, dahil celebrity ako eh. So, ang hirap eh. Ang hirap niyang emerge dun sa trabaho ko. But anyway, uh, as parents, yung responsibility ko kay Eli, hindi ko nakakalimutan. Uh, because kahit anong mangyari, kahit na matalino siya, uh, mabait siya, etc., etc., <coughs> yung mundo pa rin natin na ginagalawan, ginagalawan ngayon ay 